in the previous video on this inverter i said i i the next video i'll be doing is when i mo modify it the cables the power cable inside the inverter is a bit too small so i would have put bigger cables but i said what's the sense of modifying this and then testing it i should test first see if it's functioning and then modify it so in this video i will be doing a load test of this inverter these are the batteries i do have it's a 24 volt inverter these are the specs since i'm holding the camera i'll be putting it off to set set up the inverter and connect it but i would be doing the testing with these power tools to see what is what <clears throat> this is the cable this is the nuts for the back and this is my watt meter I'd be using this watt meter this is the back of the inverter and this is the front so let me put off the video and when i finish hook up everything i'll resume before we begin the load test if you're new to this channel please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos let's start the load test i've connected the inverter to the battery positive to positive negative to negative and this is the watt meter and i've connected <clears throat> i don't have a strip that would take everything so wherever the test reach or whatever i was hoping to get 2000 watts but i doubt very much i'll do this so let's begin here goes nothing this is the battery voltage this is the output voltage 232 this is the watt meter and first i'll put on the power saw
this have 229 volts this have 230 let me I've reset everything function kilowatts volts amps watts let me see for some reason though I'm not getting it look like my battery cannot hold the battery <clears throat> cannot hold the, the pressure I will post this video but I'll get another battery and see if if I'll get anywhere further it cannot run the power so but it should be able to run uh, The power saw definitely have too much. The voltage drop. Three hundred and thirty three watts. Three hundred and thirty three watts.
and the voltage dropped to 190 so which means and the fan haven't kicked in as yet this is it for this test I'll do I'll get another set of battery banks to test this inverter but it doesn't seem like it would do what they claim it to do and up to now the it's warmer and I couldn't smell I could smell something so I do think that inverter would do water cleaner it to do this is it for this video kind of disappointed I will open it because I could take the scent of something and check it out and after all that the fan didn't kick in until the next one bye